Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection. Now Newport is defending its title as New England's vacation destination. So Michelin published their list of best hotels in the country with Newport appearing four times. It's fantastic. Hotels that made the list are the Castle Inn, uh, Castle Hill Inn and Resort, the Chandler at Cliff Walk, the Cliffside Inn and the Vanderbilt. Now this is Michelin's second ever list of best hotels in the country. It is based on factors like architecture, quality of service and overall personality. Now over in Massachusetts made uh, made the list as well with some of its hotels in Boston and the Berkshires. Ooh. Oh, let's go to the Berkshires. Let's go there. Uh, some, <laughs> some of those include the Four Seasons Hotel, uh -huh. One Delton Street, the Langham and the Newberry. Oh, those are some good ones. Nice huh? places, right? Really nice yeah, ones. So we wanted to know, have you been to one of these places, maybe here in the U.S. or maybe someplace else? Or is there a place that you just would like to stay and wish you could have stayed at? Now, we teased in our Facebook Live this morning to come back. Right. Because Will was going to share with us his story. Right, right. <laughs> so years ago, I went with, uh, there was a girl who, well, Kim Sandy. Kim and I right. went, were, sent to, were sent to Rome. Okay. And we sent we were sent there twice. First time they the organization put us up in a spectacular five star hotel. Amazing. They asked like a year later, we want you to go back. We went to the hotel, the Western Excelsior. Okay. Right in the heart of Rome. I mean, this place was spectacular. Okay. Out of this world spectacular. <laughs> I mean, it really was, truly was. And I, I had I walked into my room and I'm like, oh my God, this and I noticed all night long that there were these guys in dark suits walking up and down up and down the hallway all talking into their ear okay like what you know what's going on right. one of the doors was, your private butler one of the doors was open and the, all of the furniture in the room was moved out it was just racks and racks of clothes okay there was a little dog there was a woman running around I'm like what is going on the next night <laughs> I'm, I'm down in the bar with Kim a man asks us there was there was a large there was a bigger guy sitting by himself in the corner a bunch of guys scattered throughout the bar nobody else around I ask, uh, the guy comes up and says, where are you from? We told him we were from the United States, wanted to know what we were doing there. And all of a sudden, the big guy in the corner yeah. looks at us. He's got like the mustache and waves us over. As we go walking over to him, yeah. every, all these other guys stand up. He was the king of the country of Qatar. Oh my God! <laughs> yes! That's how nice this place was. So the king was staying the there. The king was, was staying there. For the king. The king was staying there, and he wanted to know what we were doing in in Rome. So did they have to do a background check on you guys before uh, you? I if mean, he I did, there's like, no way I would have made it. They would have like yes, no, were, like no, security. Not that I know of. I was staying like wow. right down the hall, like a couple I mean, of rooms away from him. And he was there. He was the exiled king of Qatar. He had just given control over to his son of the country, and he was he was just vacationing in Rome. Bought us drinks. Oh. He's worth like $175 billion. So things are good for him. Things are good. Things are good for him. Yes. Yeah. So, so that was a great place. Go. It was a great place. It must have been if a king stayed yeah, there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh my god. So but do you say that's the nicest place that you ever stayed? That that was beautiful. The W Hotel in Miami Beach is yep. nice. There's another hotel on Miami Beach called the Cadillac Hotel. Okay. Also, also just fantastic. Right. Those places were Those really are nice. nice. Yeah. I had told you guys this morning, so the Breakers in Palm Beach I've stayed at. That's gorgeous. Right. And um, also uh, Chatham Bars Inn, right over in Chatham, obviously right in Massachusetts. Right. And then of course the Newport ones, which we've all either been to, driven to, you know, just vac you know, just sure. toured. Those are gorgeous too. Right. So we are very lucky to have a lot of them that, right here of, as well that made that list. A lot of great places. Brenda, right. where have you been? Where are you staying? Five star. My friend George once put me up at this Ramada in Milwaukee. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> they turn and your bed down and everything at night. Any time of year. But I once stayed at the Castle Will Inn. Oh, thank you. It's a great place. <laughs> no, I think if you can splurge every now and then, I think it's nice. But sometimes these hotels are just extravagant and lavish. Sure. You think, am I really going to pay, you know, this much for one night? But I think we all have those dream locations that we'd like to stay at. Yeah. You know, I think you can't help. I remember as a kid, you know, the rich kids in school. This one kid was staying at the uh, Grand Floridian at Disney oh, Mall. Yes. Awesome. And oh, I was, yes. I remember like my brother and I looking up pictures of it and being like, oh my God, it's palatial. Right. You know, yeah. so I'd like to stay there someday. Sure. But I think it just, uh, I don't really have any dream places I'd like to go. I mean, I'd love to go to Hawaii someday and maybe do it up five star style there. Mm -hmm. But, yep. mm -hmm. you know, aloha means goodbye and hello. <laughs> so maybe I'll get there someday. Someday. But of course, Will would run into a king. <laughs> it, was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Bought him drinks. It was very nice. It's, it's unbelievable. Very nice. My favorite all part of that. Back and forth. My favorite part of that story was so I meet Kim in the bar. <laughs> yeah. 
course you did. A <laughs> lot of stories start with, so I met Kim Zandi at the bar. We love Kim. I heard she's back on the radio. Well, rumor has it. Really yeah, she talk, is. Rumor has it. There hasn't been much talk about that. <laughs> Let's check in with our viewers. Here's what you had to say about this topic right here this morning when it comes to splurging, staying at different places. Here we go. Lucy's up first. She says, when I worked for Marriott, I stayed at several Western hotels that made me feel like a million dollars. Well, that's nice. It's kind of... How you feel about something, right? Mm -hmm. You make the best of situations, and I'm sure those were great hotels. Thanks, Lucy. Dennis, as a favorite, we used to stay at a place called Indian Head in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Oh, oh. I know that place. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, I know that. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful. Stand it's by nice. for Audrey's review. Yeah. The <laughs> Granite State, New Hampshire. But Dennis says when we would go to the Highland Games each September at Loon Mountain, way up there, a oh, very nice, beautiful scenery. Jeannie adds, I've been lucky to have stayed at many great stayed in many great places, but if I could afford to live anywhere I want, it would be Seattle. Oh, the Pacific oh, wow. Northwest. I was just there. Ocean on the west, gorgeous mountains to the east, and a much slower pace of life. There you go. And Sharon closes off the comments today with, most memorable place I stayed was the Contemporary Hotel in Disney World, oh, yeah. where I could see the colors shown on the Magic Kingdom's castle right from my room. Truly magical. Plus, that's the hotel that the monorail goes that right past. That is a really cool one. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool one. I always wanted to stay there. It's just, even to you this day, You need a Disney I trip. Love, you need to go again. I do need to go again, but the monorail goes right through. As a kid, I thought that was the coolest, and I still do. And Disney truly is a magical place. I mean, they can make all of your money disappear. Uh, thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming. We'd love for you to be a part of the show. Follow us on social media. We go live every morning on Facebook around quarter of eight, so please chime in, leave your thoughts, and you never know, I may clumsily read yours right here on the air.